two loggerhead sea turtle nests were found vandalized on Pensacola Beach over the 4th of July weekend. WKRG.com mobile journalist Daniel Smithson spoke to a local marine scientist about the crimes and how you can help this endangered species. One of the vandalized nest enclosures was destroyed while another showed signs of digging. The eggs left there appear to be okay, but this is just a reminder of the dangers sea turtle nests face. When our sea turtle volunteers uh, encountered the, the vandalized nest, they notified us. And of course, it's very disappointing. These photos show the sea turtle nests vandalized on Pensacola Beach over the weekend. We don't know why or how uh, they were vandalized but we do want the public to know that these are protected by state and federal laws. Escambia County Marine Resource Manager Robert Turpin says there are currently 10 sea turtle nests on Pensacola Beach and one on Perdido Key. Which is a little, little off our usual numbers and of course we had an early season storm and any nests that are covered by water, we're concerned you know, about their survivability. That's why Turpin says it's important people don't make it harder on conservationists. We can best protect sea turtles by having a natural beach for the females to nest upon and for the hatchlings to emerge out of the nest and make it into the Gulf of Mexico. So removing obstructions, no holes or sand castles or anything like that that could obstruct the sea turtles and then the lights, keeping our lights off. Now, both the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission and the Escambia County Sheriff's Office were notified about the vandalism. Anyone with information is asked to contact FWC. Reporting from Pensacola Beach, I'm Daniel Smithson, WKRG News 5.